taking care of patients with CTCL uh, it is absolutely very important to approach it with a multidisciplinary approach. It's because the patients, they can have different stages of disease. Um, most patients who have you know, CTCL, the most common being mycosis fungoides, they present initially with skin lesions, but uh, if they do progress to advanced stage, they will involve lymph nodes and then also the blood. Uh, and so because of that, you know, in their, uh, during their care, uh, throughout their natural history of their disease, um, you know, the dermatologist initially sees them first because they present with a skin lesion. But if they do progress to lymph node or systemic involvement, the oncologist is there to help them with taking care of their needs there. And then often we recruit the help of the uh, radiation oncologist to help with treatment uh, with their radi uh, for radiation for their skin. And then pathology is also very important to have the pathologist uh, involved with the you know, review of the cases because as I mentioned earlier, the subtype uh, of the patient is very important to determine that when the patients are seen so that you can adequately kind of um, categorize them into the right treatment that they need. Yeah. Actually, in the community, most doctors or oncologists are taking care of all kinds of tumors, uh, not just limited to uh, cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. They are uh, taking care of all sorts of lymphoma patients. Now, uh, in academic centers, you do have you know, oncologists that spe specialize in lymphomas, but even in lymphoma, you know, they're taking care of all sorts of B and T cell lymphomas uh, as well. So it's not, um, it's very rare for a um, physician to be taking care of a, only a subtype of T CTCL. I think most, most people are, uh, you know, uh, specialists in oncology, uh, and then following that will be some people in academic centers will be specialists in lymphoma uh, and, and in that sense. Now, in, in dermatology, um, patients, uh, there are less of us who are specializing in taking care of patients with skin lymphomas because we're dermatologists. Uh, and skin lymphoma patients, they can be B or T cell lymphoma patients as well. And so we take care of all kinds of patients, even patients who have uh, lymphoproliferative disorders. So, you know, they could be like a pre-malignant state or uh, they could have uh, lesions that could be not quite the diagnosis of lymphoma yet, but they are suspicious for it. Uh, we even take care of those patients as well.